sneak up on you. And this is actually the same as priming your canvas. As you notice, I didn't put any wet on wet or stuff like, you know, um, liquid white or liquid white or anything like that because we're doing acrylic, obviously. And uh, just so you know, you can paint over acrylic, but you cannot paint acrylic over oil. That just doesn't work at all. close to that black, you want to get all the way into it. Nice black horizon line. And then very carefully just go over it again. Very lightly. You get rid of any loose paint you got in there. See if you have to add some paint to it. And you could do the whole painting in acrylic if you really wanted to. Okay, and we'll wash off our brush. And we're probably going to go to a little bit smaller brush here. Dry that off. And I'm going to go with a little number four Zen. Get it wet. And we're going to go with a darker, we're going to add some of this darker green with the phalo green yeah I think we're going to put just a tiny bit of blue in that a little bit of blue a little bit of that phalo blue we'll add that to it this is going to be for the back so we're going to put this right in here we want that little bit of a greenish color <coughs> but we're also going to add some blue in there too Very carefully, just put it in. As you notice, I did draw out this picture here. I drew it out, and I'm just following the lines. And what you could do is, if you want to draw it, you can draw it freehand yourself. I'm adding a little bit of blue to this, by the way. Kind of changing my color a little bit. You can also get a shot of the picture that I'm going to have posted. And uh, you can always download it and draw it from that picture there. That you can probably print it out in with a, like a poster program or something like that and use some carbon paper if you wanted to and just go to the trace it right out with that okay, right up to that dark line See, I got some green and some blues going on in there. I want that to be a variety of green and blues. Don't want it all one color. And we'll get more of that when we get in here with the oils too. So I'm going to add some blue in here. I want to darken that up a little bit back here. A little bit of blue here and there. It's not quite dry yet, but this stuff will dry pretty quickly. Especially in the back, make it a little bit darker color with that blue.
maybe in here. Just like that. A little bit right there. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, add a little bit more of a greenish color here. Maybe a little bit of that phthalo blue in there. Put a little bit right over in this area right here. It's going to be probably a little bit lighter. Put a little bit of white in that. Lighten it up just a little bit. Coming over a lot of that with the waves and whatnot too. I'm not gonna put a whole lot there, but we're gonna put some in here. Right there. We'll come all the way over to here. We're gonna be coming over that with some waves. <coughs> okay. Now I'm gonna actually wash my brush because I want to change colors a little bit more. I'm gonna get some white. And I'm going to add it to our blue mixture and lighten it up quite a bit. Really, really light blue. Just a hint of that green in it. Just a hint of it. I'll add some water to that and make it flow a little bit better. we got a pretty good sized area right here. we got to paint with that. That's going to be right about here. It's really not as green as I really want it to be, though. Add a little bit more green to it. Put some more green in here. I don't want all that same color. I want it to be varied. The ocean's got green and blue and all kinds of different colors to it. up some more. I'm going to take some more of this green, quite a bit of this green, a little bit of this blue. We're going to start working on this wave right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to a bigger brush to do that. We're going to go back to the bigger brush And let's see if we can probably need to mix some more colors here. Add some more to that. A bit of, tiny bit of water, not very much water. And we're gonna come in right here, down this way. And we're gonna add some blue to this too somewhere. Right across here with the wave. Maybe some here. Hello everyone. Today we're going to start doing a traditional painting and we're gonna do our first seascape. And in traditional painting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to block in with acrylic paint. So everything we do here will be in acrylic. It's just a block in. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to get the, our, our rough idea where we want all of our colors and tones to be. But we still, we want to get them as close as we can. So we're going to do this sky first here. And what we're going to do first is we got to have a, a horizon line right here. So I'm going to... Uh, Find me a liner brush, and that's what we're going to do. And I'm using a little bit of this retarder in my paint, and let's see if you can see that. And it's a little bit pricey stuff, but it's well worth it because you just put a, a drop of that on your paint, and that will help keep it from drying out real fast. And acrylic does dry fast. I use a water spray bottle, and every once in a while you need to spray that paint and keep it wet. So we'll wet this brush just like you would, would with thinner, but we're using water. And we're going to try to do this horizon line. 
And probably what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a ruler because my hand is not that steady and I want to get a nice straight line here. So we'll start it right there. Get up here a little bit more. I'm going to cover that line. more paint. Real carefully. Get this as straight as we can get it. I probably should have done some there. Top down, but that's okay. It's going to be the horizon. Expected to have a few bumps in the horizon there. A little bit more water. Not flowing very well. Just add some water. Give me a fairly thick line anyway. There we go. All the way across. I'm thinking about putting some music in the background. You all comment there, let me know whether you think I should add some music to the background or you just want to hear my voice. I know when I'm looking at some tutorials or whatever sometimes, myself, and I've looked at quite a few of them, I kind of prefer just to hear the artist talking without a distraction of the music. Okay, we don't want to fuss with it too awful much, but we've got a general idea. We've got a nice little dark line here. You may want to wipe off your ruler when you're done, because you can use a paint on there. And I see a few little spots I want to just touch up a little bit. And I got the basic line here. I can probably do that okay. Of course, we'll be going over this with oil anyway. And I see it looks like it needs to be a little bit thicker in here. That's just the way I want it to be, a little bit darker in that area. I'm not getting enough paint on there, I guess. Okay, I'm going to wash the brush. I'm going to go ahead and put the scarring in right now. And for that, the colors we're using, by the way, are ivory black, burnt sienna, maybe, I'm not sure yet, yellow okra. We're also using a, uh, a turquoise color over here, a viridin green, sap green. Uh, cerulean blue and phthalo blue. And we're going to do this sky here with a little bit of the phthalo blue. And we're going to mix in some of this Sicilian. Kind of both. And we'll just kind of brush it in. I think we'll add a little bit of water to that, make it flow a little bit better. You add a fair amount to it. You can always darken it up. We're just at the block in stage now, so it's not all that critical. But I think we need a little bit thicker. 
little bit thicker. And we can go over this again if we need to. Let me just spread it out some more. Fill up all those little white spots that you see. Going down with it, and mix that up, mix them two colors together, pretty much. You can get some little bit darker spots in there if you want. You want it to be a little bit versatile. You don't want it to be all one plain blue. You want it to have some life to it. Be a little bit darker up in here, I believe. Kind of give it him darker, like some darker clouds in there or something. This stuff dries pretty quickly, so you kind of have to keep working the paint. You want to draw you on you while you're doing it. You want to be a little bit more careful down here. Got that little bump right there, but we'll be able to cover that later on with the oil with no problem at all. That's when it dries, I could actually add more to it if I need to and cover it up with the acrylic for that matter. Get real close to that line, right on the line. like that. As it dries, you got to watch for them white. We're just going to come up and then down. All the way down in here. Some crashing right down in this area here. We're going to add some dark stuff in there too. Definitely got a lot of dark. So the waves come this way, so you want to make sure you're trying to get your strokes aiming in that direction. All the way down to here. Way out here. Excuse me. Up in here. Now I'm going to stop for a second. Now my, I notice my paint is getting a bit dry, so I'm going to mist it just a little bit with some water. and pull more green in because I want to get a bit more of this lighter green in here too. And I think I'll actually add some white to that now. I want to get a bit lighter color in there. But I want it to be thicker too. Try to go the layer of that 
like the lay of the land, or you can use the lay of the the lay of the wave. Fill them little white spots up really good. Some more in here. Probably we should get a little bit darker here on the bottom, a little bit darker green. In here, all the way down over to here. I think we'll get some more darker greens in here too. Dark, dark, dark green. Right in here. Some more in here, maybe. Just a general idea where it's going to be darker. When we come in with the oil, it's going to change all that quite a bit. I got a little bit greener there. So, I'm going to wash my brush. See a spot where I actually need to have some blue. A little bit of blue, but I want to put a bit of white in it. I want to do a little bit lighter blue. And it's going to be back in this area right here. Really carefully put that in. It's hard to tell, probably on the camera. I can see some of it, but you may not be able to. A little bit right here. Right in that area. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more in here. That blue. Even up in here. Just want a little bit bluer. Okay. And, oops, we get one more spot here. Yeah, I think we're going to put a little bit of blue in here. Saw some blue in there that needs to be there. Just a hint of it right there. And we're going to be getting some up here too, probably. Some more blue. Right up in that area there, where that wave is going to crash. It's going to be building up right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of this black, very gently, very lightly. I don't want very much of it right here, but I want to put a little bit right in here of this black. Just kind of scratching it in, basically, because what's going to happen is it's actually going to be coming over this way here. A little bit more. Make it look like it's getting a, a splashy splash. This is going to be the background of that splash, so we need to darken it. There's going to be a nice little splash right there, all the way over to here. Just like that. Okay, 
Now we'll take some more of this dark. Just a little bit. We don't want to get too loaded up on your brush, but we're going to add some more dark in this area down here. It's not holding like that. It's not quite dry enough for me to really go over it very well. Put some more dark in the bottom of the wave here. In fact, I think I'll add a little bit of green to the black. That might give us a little bit better result. Yeah, that works a little better. That to be pretty dark, but it's not cooperating very well. Very lightly. 